We've finished with part one of the book, and you can see the organization of the whole book here. So we've talked about locomotion, walking and running, and we missed an important part of locomotion, that is how we go about creating walking and running. When we make the transition from part one to now part two, we're gonna dive in a little deeper and talk about the production of movement. Specifically, we will talk about the biology of muscle, how muscle converts chemical energy in ATP into mechanical energy into the forces generated by muscle. The really miraculous process that we and all animals use to convert our food into mechanical action and, and interacting in the world. We'll move on in chapter five to create mathematical models of muscle and tendon. Because this is an engineering analysis, we need mathematical models. And you'll see the mathematical models represent the biology pretty well. In these first two chapters, we assume that muscles are acting in isolation. But in chapter six, we move on to musculoskeletal geometry. That is how muscles are installed in the body and how that geometry affects muscle function. So that's a quick overview of part two, production of movement. Let's move on and dive into some details.